In the UV editor, let's turn on UV sync selection. When disabled, you will not see anything in the UV editor when you don't have the object selected. Let's enlarge the window a little bit. Number three, to be in the face select mode. Let's examine which part is which. Place the cursor on top to select, L to select linked. This is the front of the top. This here is the back. This is the left sleeve. This one, probably the right. And these are, if you go into X-ray mode, art set, the inner part of the sleeve, outer left cuff, right cuff, interior of the waistband, the neck seam, the waistband, front and back. The order of this layout is currently all jumbled up and we need to place them in a way that will make our texturing job easier and more efficient. For me, I set up a rule that I follow that's to place more important with larger surface parts first and then from front to back, left to right, top to bottom, starting from the left corner. I recommend you make your own rule or follow my suggestion so you can recognize which piece is which when we open the UV file in Photoshop. First, let's select all. G to move, let's put it to the side. X to move along x-axis. Let's select the front torso first, then the back. G to move again. Remember when we were editing UV for our first item contact lenses, we aligned the UV to reflect the position of the 3D model. Let's do the same here. Rotate, 90 degrees, R to rotate, and 90, enter. Let's select the front part, place it close to the top. L, G, L to select, G to move. L to select, G to move, place below it. And the next scene, L to select, G to move. Check to see if there's enough space. L to select, G to move. L to select, G to move. The waistband, G to move. And this was the interior of the waistband. Rotate. 90 degrees, G, interior of the cuff, rotate, 90 degrees, G to move. That actually got fit in the square pretty well on the first try, but usually it'll take several times to find the best fit. It's best to use up all the space in the UV square here. So let's enlarge the larger pieces a little bit. Select, scale, Reduce the parts where it's less visible. This was the reason we created seams on the inner parts of the sleeves and the waistband. This way we can utilize the UV space to fill with more important parts. S to scale. Going back to the UV layout rule, I've placed front and back, left to right, front and back, left to right, front and back. You don't have to follow this rule, but it's for your own benefit to create one that makes sense for you. Now the final stage, select all, UV, export UV layout, save it in the same folder you saved your Blender file, include UV in the name, check all UVs, make sure the format is PNG, 1024 by 1024. Export UV layout. Congrats on reaching the end of week two tutorials. Keep on practicing and you'll improve your modeling skill in no time. I can't wait to see everyone's design. 
Let's upload our progress on Zepetto to share with everyone our great designs. Next week, we'll go over how to weight transfer properly. Thank you so much for following along this far, and I'll see you next week. Bye!